Hey everybody, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. Here we are going to talk exchanges, priority, uh, as a priority when you're starting out doing high frequency trading. Uh, what national exchange would you start with? Uh, we've been presented four different options over the last few weeks to months. Just trying to figure out what you think is best. Um, where you help out. Okay, let's talk about Canada. Um, as we know, the markets are half tanked and uh, may continue to tank. Uh, two of these uh, countries uh, are on this list. Now, you might be asking why not US, like uh, New York, Chicago, or London. At this point, I find them very competitive, and very expensive, uh, and very competitive in terms of long term uh, factors to keep. Uh, smaller players out of the markets, but of course there's other competing up and coming exchanges that want your business, so each one's unique. Uh, let's talk about them, let's find out which one's unique. Right. Um, so, the first one obviously is Canada. Um, Canada uh, being, you know, heavily uh, revolves around mining, resource base, I believe it will be a commodity boom in the next you know, six to twelve months, <laughs> maybe sooner, uh, depending upon just how things roll out in the markets. I can also say the same thing about South Africa. Uh, my only leery, um, or I'm, why I'm a little more leery on that, just transparency, um, because the factors you have to consider for any of these markets is transparency, volume, and liquidity. South Africa, I think, can be easily manipulated. Uh, that can go against you. Um, so that's one concern we have about this country. Uh, South Korea, uh, obviously it's a huge marketing hub, or sorry, uh, a manufacturing hub. Uh, so that might be an interesting player to be part of as well. I'm not sure if there'd be a lot of manipulation in this market, but I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody who has better knowledge experience could explain it. Of course we have Australia, and that would be no different than the other reasons with Canada and South Africa. I think this one's a little more up and coming than any of the other ones listed here. But these are major power players. Um, you know, maybe South Africa not so much, but definitely uh, the next rebound in Korea and Australia will be uh, some of the early ones out of the gate. Canada, I'm not sure. Heavily dependent on oil. Um, I live here uh, based on my experience. Um, we've basically shelled out our whole entire base where uh, uh, foreigners to continue with the economy and uh, you name me a large company out of Canada um, there's not there's basically none but here even Australia would have uh, something like uh, Rio Tinto McCary um, I think and uh, some other players um, of course we know South Korea the Hyundai and uh, Samsung South Africa um, has a lot more um, promise, so we'll just leave it at that. Anyways, uh, just fill that out, um, and uh, I'll post this on my um, Facebook as well, with a link to it, so we can all discuss the rationale behind any of these. Talk to you later, thanks.